So, hey everybody, it is me, Ryan from Ryan Studios, and I'm back with another video. So, um, today we are going to be talking about Star Wars, just Star Wars in general, because um, the BrickWiz, if you didn't know, wants everybody to make a three minute ish video talking about Star Wars, and of course, Star Wars is my specialty, so I thought I would do that. So, the first thing that comes to my mind when I think of Star Wars is just my life in general. So, um, as you can see, I have Lush that I poster over here. Not the best movie in the world, but it's still a Star Wars movie, and I still love it. Um, no matter how much hate has got, yet again, there are other things that I love, such as Harry Potter, and then there's the Fantastic Beasts over here, and then some Marvel, which is just scattered everywhere else, but um, Star Wars, like, it's I've been known to it for about, I would say, at least 13, 14 years, and... Like, it's just grown on me. It's been, I would probably say, it's probably the biggest thing that's impacted my life. Um, and I would probably be some, like, um, idiot jock or something that would be just a butthole to everybody. But, um, so Star Wars, like, I remember the earliest memory, the, probably the first memory that I can recall as a, a mid-teenager, I would say is um, me watching A New Hope with my father in the movie theater basement that we had. And um, I was just being blown away with it. I asked him, where's Yoda? At least a million times in the first four minutes of the movie. And then I also remember playing the Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga video game as well. And I didn't know how to double jump, so that was great. Um, uh, yeah, so I did have a low period of, of Star Wars. Um, just in general, like, I wasn't, I like, I like, I knew it existed, I loved it, it was, it was just buried deep, and I pulled that back out when the Force Awakens, when I heard that a new movie was coming out, um, and also the Clone Wars as well, um, I would say the biggest childhood, kind of, growing up, kind of, TV show that I watched, um, and of course the new movies are growing on me, I grew up with the prequels mostly, um, just re-watching them, especially episode three, which is one of my favorite movies to this date. I get like all Star Wars movies. But it's just, I can't believe Episode Nine is coming out. Um, I'm so kind of sad that the Skywalker saga is ending, but I know there's still going to be more. Like, um, they're going to do a second season of The Mandalorian. There's still going to be The Clone Wars, more video games, more content in Battlefront 2 that's coming out, and also uh, the Kenobi series. Uh, the um, the uh, Orion Johnson movies and the people that are doing the... Game of Thrones, so, yeah, so, Star Wars, <laughs> uh, really, just all around me, like, um, past the camera, is just a huge mural of, ba of, not Baby Yoda, but Jedi Master Yoda, um, and it's like a combination of the entire original trilogy, like, every famous movie shot, there's at least a thousand on there that make up a picture of Yoda, um, like, my Star Wars bed, like, underneath the weird kind of baby colors that I'm going to replace with a Star Wars comforter once again. Um, and I would say that Star Wars is the biggest part of my life, and um, I just appreciate it so much. George Lucas is a legend, so um, yeah, goodbye.